What is up, everybody? Do me a favor, hit me with the three hit combo. Smash the like button like Ryu, spear the subscribe button like Scorpion, kick the notification bell like Kazuya for another very special reaction video. Um, it's me, J Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, and frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia. And this is another Nickelodeon All Star Brawl video. Now, I'm a little bit behind on my character spotlight reactions for Nick All Star Brawl. We got Patrick. Raphael and Plankton, they all, all three of them have character spotlights out now. I haven't checked them out, but I will be reacting to them and uploading them on the channel soon. But in the middle of all of those character spotlights, they actually went and revealed another character. And while, you know, I could wait, I could hold off. I got a Mortal Kombat 1 video coming this weekend. It's going to be a very, very, very special one. I got plans for Starfield videos and then the actual launch of Starfield of Mortal Kombat is around the corner. But this video, I feel like I just had to react and upload as soon as possible because this is a character that I have been waiting for since before the first game came out. And to prove it, I made a video of my Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1 roster wish list, all the characters that I wanted to see in that game. And this character was on that roster wish list before the first game even came out because this character is El Tigre. I saw El Tigre trending on Twitter. And honestly, my first thought was, did they just reveal him in Nick All-Star Brawl? But I didn't, <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't look into it. I didn't think anything. I just thought people were talking about El Tigre. Turns out they did reveal El Tigre. So we've had a couple new characters by now. We had Squidward, Jimmy Neutron, uh, Raphael and Donatello, Plankton, and now we have El Tigre. I'm very excited. One of my favorite Nickelodeon shows from when I was a kid. Very underrated in my opinion. I love comic book superhero type stuff, but I also thought it was unique that the character El Tigre was constantly being pushed and pulled between the hero world and the villain world. It was so good and it was so ahead of its time in like superhero media where like a bunch of different shows are doing that. I, th I can think of like Invincible and the boys and how there's this push and pull between good and evil. But El Tigre walked so that they could run. So without further ado, let's switch over to the reaction camera and let's get into it. But I'm excited. That's him. That's our boy. He, <laughs> he has a stage. All right, let's see what he does though. What was, oh, that was the slime cancel. He looks like really fast, rush down. Even maybe I saw a grapple in there. That is what I was looking for. The stretchy hands. The min min from arms. That reach. Oh, come on. I would love to see more. It looks good, though. I love how he fights. I'm trying to think if there's... He kind of a little bit reminds me of Shredder. I'm trying to think if there's another fighting game character that he reminds me of more. Like the, the really fast slashes. I like to play characters like this. Like I, I think of Cat Manx in a Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. I think of like Wolverine in X-23 in Marvel vs. Capcom. Like he look, look at him. He looks really fast and ferocious. A lot more like rush down and speed and movement than I thought it would be. I really thought he was just going to be like can grab you from across the stage. Really like Min Min with that incredible reach and how he uses it. But no, he looks like a pretty well-rounded character. Fast, ferocious, rushed down. I think I saw a grapple in there, but I'm not gonna assume until we really get the uh, the character spotlight. Oh boy, can y'all tell that I cannot wait to get that character spotlight? Oh, I wish we got more. I wish there was some more for El Tigre, but I will take what I can get because he's confirmed for the game, bro. He's not DLC. He's not coming in years. He is going to be a base roster character in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. This is the stuff that I'm talking about where like now I am starting to get hype again for this game. It was hard to get on the get on board the hype train at first, but new characters like El Tigre, Donatello, my favorite Ninja Turtles character, um Raphael's there too which I'm very excited for plankton looks cool like right now it's it's looking pretty good I still want to know what NASB one characters are returning but I swear if we can get the majority of the NASB one characters to come back plus these new additions 
roster is looking good. I can say roster looks nice. Mechanics look nice. They said cross play, so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say cross play, uh, cross play is going to look nice in this game. I am really only holding out for what are the other game modes, how much content is going to be in this game. We know there's a campaign. I'm assuming that the arcade ladders are going to be back, but what else is there? I just need one thing to push me over the edge and I'll be on board. So if we can get like what type of content and modes are going to be in this game, then I think that's all I need to take that final plunge but that is going to be it for this character reveal of el tigre in nickelodeon all-star brawl i can't wait T to be completely honest i might end up buying the game just to play el tigre and donatello but we shall see so guys that is going to be it for this one tell me how you felt about el tigre's reveal tell me how you're feeling so far about nickelodeon all-star brawl 2 whether you're feeling it or you're not i'm on the fence so i get both uh both sides of the discussion but that is going to be it for this one, guys. So I'll see you next time in another new one. Peace out. Let's fucking go! In the clutch moments! That's our set. I got things to do. I might do a stream later today. This is day three of the beta. You probably won't see this until the beta is over.